Tyler Reddick, driver of the 45 Toyota for 2311 Racing. We're going to go ahead and open it up to questions. We'll start with Zach back here. Zach Sterney, Yellow NASCAR.com. Ty uh, Tyler, you, Toyota, have been great uh, at the road courses this season. Can that translate here um, at Watkins Glen, despite the fact that last week it was really the 34, the 9, and the 99 um, that c eventually ran away with it? Yeah, yeah we, we definitely had good speed at Indy. We just um, were a little off in the beginning of the race. Um, but really, the the final half of the race, we were solid. I just, um, I gave Daniel everything I had and I just couldn't get around him. You know, we were just really stuck behind him, getting held up quite a bit. So yeah, that was frustrating for sure. Um, you know, certainly, I didn't think we were at our best at Indy and, and you know, hopefully um, the lessons learned from there can, can help us maybe be a little bit more on top of whatever it was that we were lacking. And I know India, Indy to Watkins Glen is quite a bit different, but, um, Hopefully it speeds, it speeds there. We're going to find out pretty quick. Uh, typically, we're, we're pretty solid, right? But but we we aren't really happy unless we're as strong as we are at like places like Coda. So um, that's what we'll be searching for. All right, then we're going to go Jerry. Coming in this weekend, your, your mindset, obviously you got a win under your belt, but when you go to Daytona next weekend, is it just a relief that – um, you don't have to worry about any of that and that you can just go out there and, and kind of survive till the end to try and compete for that race? Yeah, I mean, we don't go into that weekend thing. And, oh, man, it is a, it is a relief, but it, but certainly it definitely is. I've been in a different uh, situation in the past um, a few times where, you know, that race, everything's on the line. We get there, and it's very stressful for sure. So, um, yeah, hopefully can everything pans out in a good place to where, um, you know, we're able to, to go into that race with not a lot to worry about other than trying to win stages and win the race. Uh, because for a lot of teams, it gets really crazy. And with that, normally a lot of carnage happens as well. How would you rate your season to this point uh, to, the, to the regular season? A lot of potential. Uh, a lot of potential there. We've just um, not quite capitalized on it in every single moment, unfortunately. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of speed. We've just um, unfortunately not taken advantage of that every every weekend that we've had it. So hopefully between this weekend and next, we can do more of that and run to the playoffs in a, in a good place. All right, then we're going to go to Holly. Hey, Tyler. Holly came with the NASCAR Wire Service. I wanted to ask you a little bit about the road course racing. I've heard people say that you're the best guy this season on the road courses. It wasn't necessarily something you felt you were really great at was it before? Have you kind of upped your game? And, and how comfortable do you feel on the road courses? Yeah, I enjoy them a lot um, now. I never would have thought that six, seven years ago, um, trying to make my way in NASCAR. I never thought it was going to be something I would like, but I've really grown to enjoy it quite quite a lot. So, um, you know, just a lot the driver can do, right or wrong. I mean, setup still matters a lot, and there's a lot of time and effort that goes into that like any other weekend. But... Um, yeah, just uh, just the amount of corners you have to nail in a lap, and and all the things that kind of go into it—the braking, the shifting, the tools that you have in the car, uh, the things you can do with the car—I um, really enjoy it um, a lot more than I ever thought. But uh, you know, I grew up racing on dirt and racing ovals, so uh, road course racing, asphalt, dirt, whatever, was just something I didn't know about really until I got to NASCAR. All right, then we're gonna go to Dustin, then Bob. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Uh, in 2021. You were in the bubble, uh, the last playoff spot going into Daytona, the regular season finale. Having gone through that experience, I know everybody's different, but what was that experience like? Look, everybody talks about, hey, we, we just got to treat like any other weekend. Could you really treat that as any other weekend? Or uh, if you ever have to be in that position again, what were the things you learned from that experience? Yeah, I mean, our year was on the line, really. Um, and we almost didn't make it through, got caught up in a wreck. You know, I remember the team having to do some ridiculous work to the car just so it could make laps, and we barely squeezed in, right? Fortunately, a few weeks later, we, we managed to not make it through round of 16, but, but still making the playoffs huge for a team. Um, but, yeah, that, that whole night is uh, – takes it feels like it takes years off your life, honestly. It's just so stressful. There's so much happening out of your control. Um, 
and it just seems like if you make one mistake in that race, you know, the, the penalty is just so massive, whether that's getting caught up in an accident, making a mistake on pit road, whatever it is, um, that final race is just, there's a lot on the line, whether you're in that bubble or, um, you know, a driver that has to win when you get there to make the playoffs. And, and what is it like the week leading into that race or even the last couple of weeks, as you say, your season's kind of on the line and trying to make sure you get in the playoffs? What, you know, what are some of these guys now, what might they be experiencing? You know, what did you go through uh, leading into that week and the last couple of weeks and just everybody asking you about it? Yeah. And focus. Um, I, the, you know, with, with stage breaks, you know, you treated the race totally differently. You pretty much gave away the for, – forego the chance to try and win the race on your own and just go for stage points. Uh, so that <coughs> in 2021 was frustrating for me because – Obviously, we hadn't won on a road course yet, but, you know, we got the pull at Coda earlier in the year, and we had good speed on road courses that year. We were kind of having to throw our races away just to get the playoff, uh, get the stage points. So, um, yeah, I think for, for a lot of teams now, that's a little bit more difficult. You know, have to get even more creative with their strategy, staying out, running long to try and get those points. Um, so, yeah, it's it's not, it's a good – it's it's nice not having to worry about that. You know, I think our speed's definitely good enough where, honestly, we shouldn't be in that mix, but – you know, like I said, we haven't really executed a lot um, over the course of this summer. We've let a lot of wins get away, so it's a good thing we did win earlier in the year. Bob. Uh, Bob Pockers, Fox Sports. S similar uh, topic, but last year your teammate, Austin Dillon, he ends up winning at Daytona to get in. I'm curious if you've shared any advice to Bubba as far as how to handle these next couple of weeks, and what is it like and that's just as far as a team dynamic, having one team that's in and another team that's right there on the brink. Yeah, it's it's definitely stressful. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's just I, I always try to do everything I can to have our car be as prepped and as good as it can be for for the road courses. And you know, that doesn't just apply to me; that applies to you know where they start and what they bring the racetrack to. So, yeah, when we prepare, you know, especially Indy here, you know. I know I'm not just preparing my car and trying to get it right, trying to get as close as I can for Bubba too. So, um, yeah, the pressure's certainly on as we prepare for for these weekends, trying to make sure you know we're getting the most out of our setup and our cars as close as it can be uh, to real, you know, to what we need when we're here in reality. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a difficult thing, but you know, if it comes down to it, I've done it, I've done it before, and you know, I'll do it again. I'll, I'll help my teammate if if it comes down to it. All right, I'm back here. Dustin Albino, Jayski, Tyler, um, between 6th and 12th, you're 12th in points. It's separated by 24, I believe. Yeah, 24. How much are you looking at that, and how valuable could those five points be? That would be huge, honestly. Um, you know, I think early in the year before things really went off the rails for us, you know, we were right around 5th, 6th, and had a shot at closing in on the lead, and things kind of just blew apart, right? But, um, yeah, you know, obviously – watching points battle, I guess, minute to minute, not really a lot of that, but certainly understanding, okay, you know, if we go out and have really, you know, really good solid week here and just avoid, you know, having a catastrophic day at Daytona, you know, hopefully we, we're in reach of, of getting getting those points made up. I think we're strong enough at the road courses to, to, to take a bite of that, and then when we go to Daytona, we just, um, we need to survive to try and win the race anyways, but, you know, um, it would it would definitely be nice to to get back kind of in that points standing or where we probably should have been anyways. So hopefully between this race and the next, we can take a big chunk of that out. And and yeah, ideally it'd be awesome to jump from where we're at to six. But um, even just getting a couple of them would be great for our team. All right, and then back to Zach. With some of the adversity that you guys have faced, just from lack of execution and whatnot, as you've discussed. What have you learned about this 45 team throughout the summer that can those lessons be applied throughout the playoffs? Or, uh, like, does that does that factor into um, any lessons learned, I guess, through the yeah, past few weeks? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, the one thing that's that's probably the most difficult part of it is, is just showing up to the racetrack every weekend with, with a shot to win, and we've been doing that for I mean, the majority of the year. We've got a lot of speed, so... Um, that is a difficult part, right? But where the, the it gets frustrating is when we don't capitalize on it um, and get the finishes that we probably should be getting. But uh, the speed's there, right? And and how we're getting it is is been consistent. So um, 
we're just going to keep pushing on that front and, and hopefully the things that have been mistakes, the lessons along the way um, stick and you know we can just hit our marks and execute when it matters. Any additional questions? Thank you, Tyler. Good luck this weekend.